back out. It's time, proper camp. I'm up in Scotland, over the border. It's just, um, it's just a short hill, because it wasn't really planned, this camp. Haven't brought the right tent. Um, didn't bring a couple other things. But I thought, while I'm here, might as well go up and have a camp out. I was in the van last night. Oh God, gone up there. Steep like, I'm not sure where the path goes. The path goes right into the trees. And then you've got to double back. Uh, tomorrow, I have to come straight down and park down about me bottom of uh, the trees. Whew! So over there is the village of Falkland where Queen Mary stayed. Mary Queen of Scots. I think her again, not her again. <laughs> Aye, so oh, brought the wrong tent. Thought I packed the solo, but I haven't. It's the Stiker. And it weighs a flipping ton. Look, <laughs> it's huge, but I can carry it. I'm like the donkey. So we'll just keep going. We'll get there, we'll get there. It's a quick overnighter. And tomorrow I'm gonna hit the coast. Just enjoy the rest of the weekend in the van. Easter weekend, innit? Make the most of it. I'm in the trees. Oh, it's really steep. I think it's a mountain bike trail. Look, look at that. Would you jump that? Nah. Would I hell? <laughs> you can. You may hit that tree there. Drop down. And then just whoosh, away down there. Oh, really steep. Oh, imagine coming down here on a bike, man. Braver than me. <sighs> like, no. Some people will do it though. You'd be trying to hit them branches or that tree, wouldn't you? It's the same. It's the height of me. I'm not doing that, like. I'm just not doing it. You can't make me. I won't do it. Right. Right. Just got my map out. Because I think we might have to go on that way. Or that way. I will check. Look at this, though. That's bad enough just walking on it. I'm riding a bike off there. Knee way. It's shaking. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't like it. Right. That's where I'm headed. I can just see specks of very light rain. I think that might be a rain cloud, that. Oh, I wish it stopped off until I get my tent up. Look at this, though. I'm as high as a high thing. What a place. It's like the east coast over there. Oh dear. <laughs> I bet it was steep. But this is even steeper. Yeah. And then the last the last bit of that hill. Oh, it's like a mini hedge hop. I can see some people going up there. It looks really, really steep. Man! <laughs> oh how if you do head throw up, I can do that. Not very, not very far. It's not really a big hill, but God, it's steep. It's just straight up. I'm just picking steep hills lately. What's up with us? Just have a, some sort of sick fetish. Steep hill fetish. What's that called? Hill asexual. <laughs> hill. Sexual. <laughs> Didn't start. Just got up a little bit higher. 
look there's the town of Falkland Falkland Palace there and there's the rain going over there hopefully it stays over there there's planes buzzing around it's mad there's people coming up there's people going up some people come down look at that though Falkland I'm going to visit there tomorrow do a van channel wander in Falkland and Falkland Palace because it's a Scottish National Trust property. Guess who's a member of the Scottish National Trust? Oosh. Well worth joining, like. All right, push on. Ooh, it's short but steep. That's the. Uh, profile of it. Luckily that is actually the top. There's no false summit. Oh, it's not worse than a false summit. All three. All right. The rain's just spitting on. See it over there. I'm just getting the back end of that. Oh, I should get the tent up first. All right, come on. I hadn't wasted time filming. We would have got the tent up. It's chucking us down. But look. The pot of gold. I'll go there tomorrow. I'll memorize that. Oh, this is the top. Oh, it's a bugger. The weather has just changed dramatically. Gotta get the deltas in here and then get the thing pegged down properly before it blows away. Right. Noisy zips. Not a sound. Alright, it's doing well. What a flipping, what a carry on though, getting my tent up. Well, it was easy enough, just wet and drenched. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Light rain and light wind, it said. <laughs> it's Hurricane Flippin' Higgins. Hurricane John Higgins. Oh my god, it's wild. It's getting worse. What's going on? <laughs> And guess what? I forgot to bring a towel. Ah oh, man, everything's drenched. Look at the state of us. Look at us. Glad I put these on actually. When I was coming up, I was thinking about taking them off. Glad I kept them on. God, that weather changed like that. That's, that shows you that, like. That just shows how quick the weather can change. That was ridiculous. It still is. I was mad how wild that got. God. Anyway, right, we're gonna dry off a bit and Get your stuff in. That's the joy of the big tent. I'll put the backpack in there out the wind, out the rain. I can just do it at my leisure now. Oh, oh, part of this part of this is glad I've got this tent now. I can stretch out and dry off. Oh man, that was hard work. Hard work. It's a small hill and it just all went to hell. Christ. Whew. Well that was absolutely mad. Crazy half off. Ah, oh, it's coming back. It's like passing showers, but they're really heavy like. We're supposed to be light in the wind. When the when the showers come, the wind comes with it. I don't know what's going on. This is not in the forecast. It's very strange. Very, very strange weather. Oh, but I managed to um dry the dry the tent off when I came in. Brought all the water in with us. The rain was just driving through. I couldn't do anything about it. It was all over me coat and me, me pants all in the porch now. So I'm kind of dried off a bit. Oh man. <laughs> it's crazy weather. I'm only at 1400 feet. God knows what it would be like high up. Terrifying. 
but yeah in the old staker good tent to be in like nice and roomy nice and roomy nice and solid i've got it pegged out well deltas in on the guy lanes feel listen to that wind i don't know i don't know where it's coming from look at outside right and look at it I'm meant to be camping here. I don't know. I might be doing something I shouldn't. Look, that's the rain I hit before. That's the storm that hit me when I was putting the tent up. What a nightmare. Oh, come on. Come in. Keep the warmth in. Oh, it's plenty big in here though, look. Look at all the space I've got. Oh, it's nice. It's nice to have a lot of space. I don't mind carrying the weight if it's only a short. A short hike, it's less than a mile. Well, I think it was just over a mile. So, yeah, I've got a few beers. Tonight's food, I've got ration packs. There's either beef burrito style, fill in with rice, or hunter's chicken. And all you do is uh, you just heat them up in your pan. I've got me the fire maple stove. Nothing fancy tonight, couldn't really be bothered. I've got the three season down bag, my uh, light tour, that's the silver mat. Where is it? Oh, yeah. I brought the quilt in case the sleeping bag's any good. <laughs> Always do that, you know, if you're trying out if you're trying out a new sleeping bag, if you're just testing it, bring a quilt just as backup. Because if you get cold through the night, you've had it like. Um, yeah, that's it really. Got my radio. Ooh, the hand warmers they're doing a good job a good them on Amazon I think they were 20 quid but that's, this is the fourth time now that they've saved my fingers from getting frostbit but yeah I can put my coat on in a minute I've got changed I've got, my, uh, I've got this on and another t-shirt underneath like a long sleeve t-shirt you see people are on about my, um, my mark on my face I've got a um, like a skin tag on them, it's it in other videos, it's awful, I hate it. Um, so I went to the doctors and insisted to try and do something about it. So they tied it, tied some thread around it, pulled it tight. And that's the theory is it'll just drop off, but it's gone like, it's gone horrible. So he said to put it, uh, so it's put a plaster over it. So it doesn't get, um, you know, sun. Sun doesn't get out or anything. Even in this weather, you got the sun. Like today, it was blazing down today. The sun, so I've covered it all. So dinner. I'm scared to look what it what it'll come out like. Probably end up with a good big massive scar on my face, like the Phantom of the Opera. John Merrick, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna uh, get me bed set up. I'm in a bit of a dip here, like this. It's not exactly flat. I'm glad I've got the footprint on. Get me bed up and uh, that's it really. Hopefully I can get out and have a wander around before it gets dark. Because it's a good view from up here. Like I've just popped my head out, right? Have a look what it's going to do. Look, that's the rain that came over just now. It's horrendous. And then that's behind it. What the hell? There's more, a little bit more, a couple of showers, like just a few showers, so should be all right like that's the first of fourth in the background there and i can't really work out have a look on a map east lomond hill i think west lomond hills over there hey giant tortoise Ugh, enough can't make that out I can't read that. Those names are all the hills. Well, I think the Cairngorms is over there, where that weather's going, so it can go get yourself away. Oh, just 
panicked and pitched it there. It turns out there's a really perfect flat bit over there. Probably a few bits down there. Maybe this is the view. Just while the weather's fine. Look, there's another, another epic shark coming over there. It's mad this weather, like. It's good that you can see it coming. <laughs> Just jump in the tent. Oh, it's lovely over there. See, I think that's West Lomond Hill. It's got to be, isn't it? Wind. They reckon there's going to be snow coming. Seen the snow capped mountains when it was clear before. But yeah. Brrr, you can see right out the sea, see the wind forming that. Right, Edinburgh, the fourth road bridge, just make it out. Just mind. Over there. The three, the three pointy bits. Do you see it? Probably not be able to see it here. Ah, getting back in right, that wind is cutting right through. Uh, you know, so the stagger is up solid as a rock. Deltas in. When I pull the deltas out tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll sort of um, stamp the ground if there's any holes that will clear them up it's supposed to be bright sunny tomorrow so that should dry that off hopefully it's a big old unit in it but i'm glad of it oh so glad of it when that rain hit so i'll just throw everything in and just dive in that's a nasty shower coming over there nasty anyway right i'm gonna get back in cool down don't you? It was nice and warm in there before. I haven't set my stuff up yet. <laughs> Beers! Oh, it'll be time for a beer soon like. I'm just in the process of getting the, the bag out. You know what? I haven't even taken the label off it yet. <laughs> this is the second time I've used it though. This is good. Actually, that's like that other one, it feels warm, it's silver side up. I think it's definitely silver side up. Anyway, right, so get this out. That's a stuffed sack, which went in quite well. Quite easy with it being down. So that can go over there. Use that as a pillow, fill, stick your coat in there. Look at it, it's like a black bin bag. But the thing is with this, it's a rectangle bag and the zip comes right down here. It's like you can buy it either right zip or left zip, which I think will please a lot of people because I like the um I like the zip on that side, the right zip the right zip. But it comes all the way down the bottom of the bag and along the bottom. So you could use that as a quilt that would open up that would open up square like a quilt so you, if you want to use a down quilt in the summer 80 quid there you go and i used it last week and i was all right i was warm enough in it last week but i want to try it i want to try it out um you know a few times before I actually decide if it's any good or not but it's big enough, it's bigger than the other one. So there's loads of wiggle room. I didn't feel restricted in that in any way, shape or form. And you know me, massive. So that was good. It feels nice inside. So yeah, a quasar, quasar. What's the name of it? Quasar down sleeping bag. Down sleeping bag. They say that the down is ethically sourced, right? They say that. And they can't say it if it's not true. But yeah. Hasn't got a name. Hasn't got a name. Just down sleeping bag. It's on Amazon, I'll put the link in anyway. 
that last video didn't have the link but it, you know for what it is it feels like it would be waterproof and I'll you know when you get condensation all right all right I'm gonna do a bit more admin and then I'm gonna get a beer on things are getting weird up here look at this right beautiful big rainbow over there there's a tent here more rainbows over there so all the rain has come across and went that way this time so it's missed me I've got the best of the weather now unreal it's weird it is very strange and lovely uh, sunset I think <laughs> How very bizarre the good old Scottish weather <laughs> just does whatever the hell it wants no rules just do what it wants so I think that's the um, that's the that's the rainbow there but you can't see the the bow Look how calm it is now, it's mad. I'm loving it. There's some proper bad weather going on over there. <laughs> yeah. I've escaped it. It is still cold though. It's supposed to turn off right when I click that button, but it doesn't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I've just come to the edge of the the hill. This is where it, this is where people are coming up. I think there's a, a path goes all the way along there. I don't know what that is. Well, it's an electric power station, substation or something. And there's the Falkland town. Like I say, van channel for that one. I'll go there tomorrow and wander around. Ooh. It's nice though, isn't it? Small hill with amazing views. It's really prominent hill. There's, there's no other hills around really. It's weird. Oh, the hills plenty over there, but there's only this one and that one in this area, which makes it look like it's a great big mountain, you know? It's not. 1400 feet, it's not a mountain, is it? I felt like it coming up that last bit. It's just me getting the chills. I'm getting chills and the multiplying. Oh, I'd do run around, do a bit of running about. Yeah, so that's it, full 360 there. Nice, good, I like it. Oh well that was a nice sunset. Unexpected after the rain that hit before, like a very mixed bag of weather I'll say. Now look at it. <laughs> very, very peculiar. I think it's coming from that factory over there. Sending over little smoke signals. Oh well, I'm gonna get in. I get um. It's starting to get dark now. It's good though. This is like uh, what time is it? It's five to seven at night. It's still light like this. That's good. So the clocks go um. The clocks go forward, don't they? On Sunday. Forgetting it's only Friday today. Goes forward on Sunday. So we'll get the light nights at last. At last signs of spring and summer. I'll come in after that long, long winter. Winter's been on for about two years now, I think. It's been winter for two years. It's chilly, chilly, chilly. Right, so I'll just leave you with this for now. I'll come back in the tent and talk some rubbish.
Good evening from the tent in the darkness. The darkness. So, I'm just having another beer. I've had three beers. Two, two little half stumpy cans and one Bruce Forsyth, which is only like 5%. So cheers. This is Northern Monk, um, or Faith in Futures. It's good. Good can that they've redesigned all the cans, and what happened was I went and got the transient, the new design, and then because the shop was what in the, in the Stone Age, I got the old design can as well. So I've got two transients, double transient. Got a glide. These are lovely. These. Salt Brew and Co. Really nice, like the Glide. See how they've redesigned? Oh, that's actually Brew York. They've done the redesign as well. They've still got Brucey on though. And then I just had a couple of Brew Dog Hazy Janes. Two of them. And the Heathen. So we'll try the Heathen, eh? I've never, I've never actually reviewed beer for a while. I mean, it's nice. It can off taste the taste the hops. You got a hop burn. You do get a hop burn. These these hand warmers are mint. These like ah, you bugger. A little bit too hot sometimes. Uh, you get a hop burn and you get like sort of a fruit. You know, if you get a peach and you sort of get a it goes a bit overripe. The peach. Or a mango, it might be a mango. Mango, like a cross between a mango and a peach, which is a little bit overripe. That's the taste of that faith in the futures. It's nice. I think they call it stone fruit, don't they? Stone fruit as a, it's the fruit with a stone in it, like a peach and a mango, obviously. Uh, anyway, I might be talking bollocks. I might not be. Ah, oh, 10,000 steps. I've done 10,000 steps, never I even moved. How does that work? You know, when you're like moving your hands around. You know, when you're, you're making certain movements with your hands. 10,000 steps. And I've never really done anything today. I know what you're thinking. Anyway, battery's going to run out. So I just thought I'd uh, come and say hi. I'm going to get me... I'm going to melt me ration pack shortly. It's not worth watching that. Uh, have something to eat. Now listen to the radio, it's good chilling out now, it's got dark eventually, eventually got dark. So, yeah that's it. It's been alright, like, it's been eventful. <laughs> I'll give it that. I've got my nice quilt out, everything's lovely and warm now. This sleeping bag feels alright, but I've still got the quilt ready, just in case. So I'll report back on the sleeping bag in the morning, let you know what the crack is. Whether it's worth getting for the summer, down bag for the summer. You know, we'd get a little bit of a chill, and even in the summer, we still get a chill over here. So I was thinking that last year, last year I used the Rab. Oh, what was it called? The blue bag. What the hell was it called? The Rab Summit, rather. Eco, Eco something, which was all right, but I did get a little bit chilly sometimes, even in the summer. Because everybody knows what oh, terrible summer it was. Anyway, we'll not go on about that, right? Ugh, so, that's it. I'll leave you with a view of me boots. Here we go, and then, right? We've got the uh, Hunter's Chicken Ration Park. I've got loads of these. I suddenly inherited loads of ration packs. Got the old fire maple stove on, the old Mars Radiant, boiling the water. So what you do is you get it, get it up to the boil, and then you turn it down. Turn it the right way, like. 
turn it down to a rolling boil. Well, actually, no, just like a cool, it's, it's like a simmer in it. To actually stick it in, you know. Stick it in, let it warm up. Oosh. Oosh. Ah. Ah. Try not to put your fingers in the boiling water. Because that never helps. And if you need the if you need the lid to stay on, just flip it over. So yeah, we'll just we'll just let that go now. Let that bubble away. If it starts bubbling and the, uh, the top starts coming, just loosen it off, you know. Give it about uh, say seven or eight minutes and it'll be warm enough to eat. You can't actually with ration packs you can eat them hot or cold, that's the beauty of them. Obviously nicer if it's warm like. It's really nice, it's still lasting. Mm. I like it. Got a lot of lights on over there. Over Falkland and Glen Rothes. Glen Roths, Glen Roths. I don't know how to say all these Scottish name places. I feel a bit daft, but you know, feel free to correct me. We'll get that. I'm looking forward to that actually. Sounds lovely. Hunter's chicken, right? Bacon, cheese, barbecue sauce. Nice. Should be good. Right. I've got the uh, Hunter's chicken ration pack. Oh. Don't hold it in your hand when it's been the boiling water. I can't open it. Oh, here we go. Right, so that smells lovely. Smells really nice. Wait, I'll put my ration pack glove on. <laughs> Don't hold it, it's got a little bit hot. Right, give it a mix, give it a little stir up. See what will drag out. So what do you think? Ah! Ah! Oh, well it's hot! That's one thing. Lovely and hot. Nice and hot. Hey, the wind's picking up out there. So, hunt this chicken, right? If you have that in a bar, then big bit of chicken. Excuse me. And you got it, it covered in barbecue sauce and then the melted cheese over it, don't it? And it tastes absolutely lovely. Oh my god, that is lovely. That's like what you get in the pub meal. It's all be it's like chopped in a little bit. The chicken's been chopped up. The flavour is lovely. Oh god, I want more. I could eat that regularly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off. I'm gonna eat it on camera, you know, just like that's horrible. That is the worst thing in the world, by the way. That is the worst thing in the world. People chomp, chomp and on camera. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna uh, have another beer. Just chill out, listen to the music. Good. Very good. Here we go. And they just put this. Well, it's time to go to bed. All right, it is. That meal was lovely, by the way. By the way. Got another one over there. That's the beef burrito and rice. It's very nice. It's very nice. What I'm gonna do is zip. I've put I've closed the vent. I've closed the vent up there, right? I'm willing to sacrifice um warmth for condensation. So oh, there's a there's a clip there which needs to go on there. I'll do that one in a minute. I'm zipping it up. Ah. Ah. 
bear with us. <laughs> it's not easy with one hand, like. So yeah, I'm zipping it up. And because I've used this as the spare porch before, that that um, clip there needs pulling up. So talking like that, so at the minute it's sagging, but it will be like that side once I get it clipped on. And I'll tell you why, right? It's because it's so cold. The wind is just non-stop, right? And it's freezing. It's just ridiculous. It's so cold with the wind. So I'm gonna four season the tent. So this is what they mean by a four season tent, like you know, with a solid mesh in it. Because you can't zip it for a three season mesh, you know? Oh yes. But it's, uh, tonight it's gonna be the four season. So I'm gonna get condensation, right? And that's because the temperature was like warm during the day and it's really dropped now. The, the wind might keep it off a bit, but because of the temperature drop, that's why I'm getting condensation. It's not because it's a Hilleberg tent. It's because I've zipped all the vents up. And if I did this in any other tent, it would be the same. I'd get condensation. So I'm prepared for it. So we'll see. But at least they'll be warm, eh? Oh, I need to zip it up. Look, that's see what I mean. That's got the the door rolled down, so that's the mesh. So I need to I need to zip that up as well, and then it'll be lovely and warm in here. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. <laughs> oh, ah. Anyway, oh me, me plaster on my face, man. I look like a right bloody idiot, don't I? Don't I look stupid with this plaster on my face? But it's got to be done. It's a medical procedure. So I've got the quilt over. I'll chuck that off. I'll chuck that off later. So I'm just sitting on it for now. We'll report back on the sleeping bag in the morning. Hopefully it'll be good. If it's not good, you know, if it's not good, I'll say. But to be fair, I am using this in conditions where probably a thicker bag would be better. So, you know, I do have a variety of bags. I, sh I would have normally brought me Rab 900, but because I'm uh, gifted this, I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. And we'll see. We'll see what it's like. Feels all right, like. Right, see you in the morning. Morning, morning. Here we are. It's the morning. It's like the very next day, actually. Oh, it's wild, it's fresh. Fourth Road Bridge is bridges. Water. And down there in the very distance, right down the bottom is the little van. So close. We really have, that was 1.3 miles away, if I go that way. If I go that way, down it's 1.3 miles. If I just run down there, it's about 500 yards. What? But, it's not really walkable. It's very, very steep here. This is a big drop off down there. Oh, anyway. It's early, so I'm gonna get packed up and off because I think this gets busy up here. So we don't want to be here when all the people start arriving with the dogs and complaining. Uh, you shouldn't be camping in there. You shouldn't do anything. You should do what I tell you to do and not do anything ever. Shut up, man. You know if anybody told me to move, they'd get told to shut the face like... <laughs> That's why people ask, have you ever been moved on? No, because they won't move. They'll get told where to go. You can't camp there, well I can, because I have, because I camp there. Can't do this, can't do that, shut up man. On your bike son, get in the sea. Right, so enough, enough of this hard man talk. Because remember I'm massive. Quite well, actually. 
that um, mattress is really good. It was nice and warm, you know. No, no silver foil mat down, and I didn't feel cold. Sleeping bag, good. Did end up putting the quilt on, but I think in the warmer months that'll be really good. Maybe it's even too warm. So I'll keep using it. Uh, oh dear, you know what the big selling point of the silver mat is? It's not noisy, it's really quiet. Pristine, right? I've filled all the peg holes in. Oof, my peg hole. Like that. You never know I was there, like. That was my spot. So, I'm gonna head off now. This bag, this Exos bag is mint. I'm glad I got this. It's nice and light now. It's light as a feather. Sits light on your back, you know? I've just got to find my way off here. So that's the, the trig. Kind of trig point like in it. Yeah, so that was it. East Loman Hill done. Oh. So we're going to go down back to the van, have a cup of tea. Didn't have enough water for tea this morning. I was boiling the bag. Oh, blimmin' water, didn't it? I think I came up that way. That's the way I go down. Back into them trees. Alright, so... That's it. Just have a look at... Just have a look at the view. Look at that. See how I'm showing you the view? And not my big, ugly face. You actually get to see the view. Look at these, these videos going, Look at the view over there. Look at that view. Look at that, it's great, that view over there is brilliant. Not good that way. Aye, I'm on a rant today, like. So I'm gonna go down to Falkland, eh? See what the crack is with the palace, see if I can get in. Do a little van video of it. Keep an eye on for that. And his camper van. Camper van adventures. So we are heading down into the woods. And as the great philosopher Dolly Parton once wrote, I'll see you on the next one, Jack or Jill or Billy or Buddy or Mac or somebody. <laughs>